Today I'll be talking about what I think are the top 10 protagonists of anime. Now I would say I've watched a fair bit of anime. In fact, I'll have my anime list in the description below so you can see what anime I've watched. Now the reason why I bring this up is because if there's a protagonist that doesn't end up in this top 10 video but you think they are top 10 worthy, it's probably because I don't know who that protagonist is since I've never watched their anime or maybe they just suck ass. Or it could be another reason, like they haven't done much in the anime as opposed to the manga. A prime example of that would be Guts from Berserk. I've only seen the 90s anime of Berserk, so I can only judge Guts based off that. I'm fully aware Guts is one of the best protagonists that has ever been created. Not just in anime, but in media and entertainment as a whole. But I'm not judging Guts based off the manga. This entire top 10 video is anime only. And in this example, only the 90s Berserk because I haven't seen Berserk after the 90s version so because of that he is unfortunately not going to make the list again this video will be based off who i think are the best 10 anime protagonists based off the anime i have watched and notice i said best and not favorite so i'm going to try and remove any bias i may have and not include my favorite protagonist but protagonists that actually deserve to be in the top 10. However, if you want to know what my top 10 favorite protagonists are, I will share that at the end of the video. And of course, this video is entirely my opinion. If you agree or disagree with anything I have to say, that's completely fine. But with that being said, let's start off this video with number 10. The number 10 spot was really hard to come up with. I couldn't decide between Luffy or Boji, but I went with Boji from Ranking of the Kings. The reason why he makes it on this list is because we have never, at least I think, ever met a character that is both deaf and cannot speak, making communication a very basic and important human trait nearly impossible for this kid. Not to mention he is also very small and incredibly weak. In addition to that, he is a prince and faces a lot of pressure because of his status. Right off the bat, Boji faces a ton of problems but instead of admitting defeat to his weaknesses, he is able to overcome them, become stronger, prove everyone that has doubted him wrong, and accomplish his dreams. He is also very sweet and innocent and when you watch Ranking of the Kings you only wish for his success and is happy for him when he accomplishes something. And if a protagonist can make you emotionally invested in them and the show and make you feel some way, I think that's a great protagonist. In the number 9 spot we have Onizuka from Great Teacher Onizuka. Onizuka is a 22 year old ex-gangster and virgin that is now a teacher but still a virgin. I put him on this list because 1. He is extremely funny but 2. It's the messages he shares with the students and the execution. We see how much Onizuka truly cares for his students. He doesn't just want to teach them the standard useless school material. He wants his kids to grow into adults they could be proud of, chase their dreams, accomplish them, and ultimately become the best versions of themselves. He doesn't treat the class as one entity. Instead, he focuses on each student individually because everyone is their unique human being. We are all different and Onizuka is aware of that. The lengths he will go for his students is more than just admirable. And his words and actions not only affect his students, but the viewers as well. For number 8, we have the man himself, Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. Now, Kenshiro and Fist of the North Star is an old anime, but many anime that exist today have taken some inspiration from Fist of the North Star and Kenshiro, which makes him quite significant and is one of the reasons why he's on this list. Also put him on this list because of his character. Kenshiro is genuinely a nice guy, but if you try crossing him, he will show you no mercy and kill you. He can be the nicest person you know, or a cold-blooded killer. And that's one of the reasons why I love Kenshiro. Apart from having a badass design and a badass fighting style, he isn't naive like many shonen protagonists you see today. Although he has been naive at times, I feel like it's not as naive as other characters you see a lot today. He has an interesting backstory, the destiny he must follow, him being loyal to his lover Yuria after knowing she has died, etc. Kenshiro is the Giga Chad of anime. In the number 7 spot we have Eren Yeager from Attack on Titan. I feel like I don't need to say much because we all know how crazy of a character Eren is. Going from being a victim to a titan attacks and seeing his mother die before his eyes, being ambitious and determined to killing all titans to now being the true mastermind and final antagonist of Attack on Titan. Eren has evolved so much, it's unbelievable. He is like Aizen from Bleach. This man planned everything and essentially wrote the Attack on Titan story. And we aren't even done yet because the final part of this anime will air next year. And depending on how it goes, Eren can probably move up this list. For the number 6 spot, we have Gintoki from Gintama. I feel like Gintoki is similar to Onizuka but better overall. For starters, he has one of the best personalities you'll ever see in any anime. The way he talks, his sarcastic remarks, his overall humor, the way he interacts with other characters, the lengths he will take, 
how much he truly cares for his friends, etc. He also has a very interesting backstory, which we will learn about deeper into the story. But most of all, he is relatable to many viewers. He can be lazy at times and would rather just sit at home and read manga. He's just a chill, laid back dude and doesn't want any stress. I know I'm probably not giving Gintoki the justice he deserves, but if you ever watch Gintama, you will 100% understand why this man is top 10 worthy. Alright, so we're moving on to the top 5, so let's kick it off with Naruto from Naruto. Similarly to Eren Yeager, I don't think Naruto needs an explanation. This kid went from having one of the worst childhoods and saddest backstories ever to accomplishing his lifelong goal of becoming Hokage. And along the way, we have seen him overcome countless challenges, become stronger, gain new friends, save his village, friends, and allied shinobi multiple times. His determination and willingness to improve and accomplish his dream is stronger than most anime characters out there. For how much he has grown considering where he has started to where he is now, has earned him the number 5 spot on this list. For the number 4 spot, we have Goku from the Dragon Ball series. Just like Fist of North Star and Kenshiro, Goku and Dragon Ball have also inspired many manga artists. So that's one of the reasons why Goku is on this list. But another reason why he's in the number 4 spot is because he is Goku. His legacy is huge. He is well known globally. Even people that aren't into anime probably heard of Dragon Ball Z or Goku because he is that big. He's not only made an impact on the anime world, but the world itself. But why do people love Goku so much? It's because he is the Superman for anime nerds like us. A nice guy that is incredibly strong, defeats bad guys, and saves the earth. He can be funny and goofy at times, but he can also be really fucking badass. He's a character people enjoy watching and grew up watching. And he's a protagonist that has received tons of growth because we've seen Goku as a kid in Dragon Ball and how much he has grown to becoming who he is in Dragon Ball Super. However, that's the problem. The reason I can't put him higher on the list is because Dragon Ball Super Goku feels different from Dragon Ball Z Goku. They made DBS Goku feel more like a clown. This pick does a really good job of showcasing the difference between both versions of Gokus. And honestly, a lot of people, myself included, did not like how DB DBS Goku ended up. So for that, I can't put him higher on the list, but regardless, Goku's legacy is unmatched. We are moving into the big three, and ironically, none of the big three made it into the top three. But you know who made it to the number three spot? Light Yagami from Death Note. Light is one of the smartest characters ever created, using his big brain and righteousness to eliminate all the evil off this world using the Death Note, and strategically overcoming all obstacles that came in his way, whether it was keeping his true identity a secret or killing off suspects. And the way him and L had their back and forths was brilliant to watch. His evolution as a character was also interesting to see, going from being the protagonist of the story to becoming the antagonist. Honestly, I think Light was a well-written character and deserves to be in the top 10. In second place, we have Yusuke Yurmeshi from Yu Yu Hakusho. Yusuke has a charm to him like no other protagonist does. The only protagonist that feels similar is Sakuragi from Slam Dunk, which honestly is one of my favorite anime characters, and I would have put him on this list if this was my top 10 favorite protagonist video. Regardless, Yusuke does things different from other anime protagonists. He's cool, he's badass, funny, rude, nice, strong, etc. He's a melting pot of a bunch of different things, but works really well. In fact, we've seen character development from Yusuke in episode 1, just the first episode. And as the series went on, we've seen Yusuke go through more character development. This feels like Gintoki all over again, where I'm not explaining Yusuke that well, probably because I can spend a whole video talking about how great of a protagonist this dude truly is, and how there is no one else like him. But if you ever watched Yu Yu Hakusho, you would know that this man is the real deal and one of the main reasons why he made the show so great. Finally, in first place, we have Lelouch v Britannia from Code Geass. What else can I say besides the GOAT? In my opinion, Lelouch is the best protagonist in all of anime. From what he has done as Zero and working with the Black Knights, to becoming the Emperor of Britannia, to making himself public enemy number one, and of course, his sacrificial death bringing peace to the world. For many people, this may not be a surprise, for others it might. Regardless, I think most people would consider Lelouch in their top 5 protagonist. For me however, he easily takes the number 1 spot. And that's my top 10 list. This video was hard to make because there are a ton of protagonists I wish I could have included on this list. So I'll just name a few. Uh, Sakuragi from Slam Dunk, Hyakimaru from Dororo, Luffy from One Piece who I would have considered the 11th man on this list, Edward Elric from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Spike from Cowboy Bebop, Ichigo from Bleach, Jotaro Kujo from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders, Okabe from Steins Gate, Kenshin from Moroni Kenshin, Thorfinn from Vinland Saga, Mob from Mob Psycho, Dazai from Bungo Stray Dogs, Aina Koji from Classroom of the Elite, 
etc. Now remember, this list is who I think are the top 10 best protagonists are from the anime I have watched. If this was my top 10 favorite anime protagonist, this list would have actually looked different. In fact, my list would have been Dazai, Kenshiro, Luffy, Yusuke, Onizuka, Sakuraki, Jotaro, Gintoki, Goku, and Lelouch in that order from worst to best. Maybe I'll swap around Dazai and Kenshiro, maybe I'll swap one of them out for light. I don't know, regardless, this is my list, but let me know what your list is down below. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content. Thanks for watching and peace.